Namaste. My name is Sandeep. Friends, if I challenge you to stay, stay without food for one day or two days, is it possible for you? Maybe it will be possible. What about water? Can you stay also without water maybe for a day? Maybe that also will be possible. But what about the breath? What about the air? Can you stay without that? Not even more than few minutes. If you stay away, if you don't breathe, you know what will be the end result. If person doesn't breathe, the person die. And that is the reason why the breath continuously keeps on moving inside the body. Most of the time we are not aware of the way the breath is moving. Right from the day we are born till the day we die, the breath keeps on moving automatically. And in most cases, because of lifestyle, because of stress, because of so many other factors, our breath starts becoming shallow. Friends, do you know that our capacity of breathing is 100%, but how much do we breathe? We not breathe more than 25% of our breathing capacity. We only use partial breathing. Our breathing has become quite shallow, quite little. And if we don't take care, then it can lead to some kind of problems physically and also psychologically. The reason why I'm saying this is when we breathe, we get oxygen. And when we deprive ourselves from oxygen, indirectly the cells get affected. Also, the breath, when it is regulated well, it can allow you to calm down. Your mind can become nice, relaxed, calm. So if the breath is not moving completely or properly, the mind can also become agitated. The mind can also become restless. So breathing is very important, friends, to keep the body in a good condition and also to keep the mind in a good condition. Even if you are breathing well, sometimes people breathe paradoxically. In fact, research says that more than 50% of people breathe paradoxically. That means what needs to come out goes inside. When we breathe in, the chest and the abdomen is like a balloon. So when the air goes inside, it expands. And when we breathe out, it falls back, it contracts. But few people, in fact, I would say more than 50% of people, when they breathe in, one expands and one contracts. So the inside system also gets a little confused. The diaphragm gets confused where to move. Should it expand when it should inhale or because one is contracting and one is expanding, it loses its, its way of moving properly. So we should understand what is the right way of breathing also. Because if you can breathe rightly, automatically things at the physical level and also the mental level can start falling into place. We can increase our physical energy and we can start concentrating easily. We can relax the mind easily. So breath plays a very important role and that is the reason why breath is called as a bridge which connects the body and the mind. So let's understand what is the right way of breathing. So there are three parts that we are going to discuss in this video. The first part is called as thoracic breathing, the second is called as abdomen breathing and the third is called as friendly breathing. The purpose of doing thoracic breathing is to make sure that we are expanding the chest from all sides keeping one palm on the chest so that we can feel the movement, so that we can rectify whether the movement is right or not. Few people when they breathe in, the chest collapses and the abdomen comes out. That is not what we want. When we inhale, we want the chest to expand. And when we exhale, we want the chest to contract. So keeping one palm on the chest, now breathe. Breathe deeply and slowly and exhale gently and slowly. So when you breathe in, the chest expands and when you breathe out, the chest collapses. A lot of time when we breathe, we usually breathe from the front of the chest. But actually, if you see, the chest is at a 360 degree circumference. Is it possible for us to expand the chest also from the sides and also from the back? Most of the time, the sides and the back remains dormant. So we need to awaken them so that we can use the entire chest area. We can with this particular practice, allow the breath to come more deeply. So, keeping the palm on the chest, front of the chest, take two breaths, 
Feel the movement happening in the front of the chest. Inhaling slowly. Exhaling. Now when we exhale, the chest collapses. Inhaling slowly and deeply. Also exhaling slowly and deeply. Now friends, I'm using this word slowly, deliberately. The reason is, people when they breathe deeply, they usually lift very fast. They breathe the air inside, they allow the air to come inside very forcefully. This is not what we want. We want the breath to come out, come in, let the breath go out gently and slowly. Expanding gently and deeply, exhaling gently and completely. So this was the front of the chest. Let's keep the hand by the side of the chest so that we can feel the movement happening also in the side of the chest. Inhale slow and deep. Exhale slowly and gently. Inhale slowly and deep. Exhale slowly and gently. A lot of people don't feel the movement on the side and that's the reason why we keep the hand. With practice you can release the hand and you can still feel the breath moving on the side of the chest. Now let's watch the back of the chest. You can keep one hand behind allowing the back of the palm to come between the shoulder blades. Now feel that when you breathe in is there any movement. In fact this is the area which requires a little more attention. If you are concentrating there really well, you can start feeling the movement at the back of the chest also. So inhaling, exhaling slowly, inhaling, exhaling slowly. Last breath, inhale, feel the back of the chest going away from you when you breathe in and when you exhale, feel how it is coming back closer to you closer to the spine. So we watch the front of the chest, we watch the side of the chest, then we watch the back of the chest. Is it possible now to club all of them together so that we can do a complete thoracic breathing? So when we breathe in, we can feel maybe initially the breath moving from the front, then moving to the side, then moving to behind. That is fine. Or sometimes we can start breathing where the breath can move from behind to the side to the front. Anything is fine. What is more important is, can the chest expand from all the sides? Let's do three breaths. Inhale slowly, allow the breath to come in gently and deeply and feeling the expansion of the chest from all sides. Exhale gently and slowly, feel how the chest is collapsing also from all sides. When we are breathing in, we are not doing any spinal movement, it is the chest it is the thoracic region that is moving not movement of the spine two more breaths inhale slow and deep feel the front the side and the back of the chest expanding exhale gently last time breathe gently in breathe out gently and completely out so this is called as thoracic breathing, expanding the chest from all sides. Now let's come to the abdomen breathing. As discussed before, breathing when people do, more than 50% of breathe, people breathe paradoxically. A lot of people when they breathe in, the abdomen goes in and when they breathe out, the abdomen goes out. This is not what we want or maybe this is not the right movement of the abdomen. The reason is, when you breathe in, the chest expands and the diaphragm contracts and goes down, which pushes the abdomen wall out. So, when we breathe in, the abdomen should actually come out and when we breathe out, it should go back inside. In few cases, when people breathe out, the abdomen goes out. So, what they can do is, they can, as they exhale, they can start pulling the abdomen wall, the navel button in towards the spine. And when they inhale, they should relax the abdomen wall. This is how we can correct the movement of the abdomen. So keeping one palm on the chest to feel the movement of the uh, chest, but more important, keeping the other palm on the abdomen to focus on the abdomen. Don't worry about the chest. 
If you want, you can keep one palm only on the abdomen so that you can feel the movement of the abdomen only. Chest will move. Don't worry about the chest. Just focus on the abdomen. Inhale. Let the abdomen come out slowly. And when you exhale, bring the abdomen back inside. Contracting in. The muscles are contracting with the exhalation. Not only the muscles are moving individually. It's the exhalation and the going of the abdomen inside happening together. Inhaling, relaxing the abdomen wall out. Exhaling, bringing the abdomen wall in. Two more breaths. Inhale, abdomen comes out. Exhale, bring the abdomen wall in. Last time, inhale and exhale and then release your hand. So first we watched the thoracic breathing, then we came to the abdomen breathing. Understanding what is the right way of movement of the chest and the abdomen. Now let's combine both together. In breathing practice, in pranayama, both are used and it is very important first to understand what is the right way of moving so that we can focus on three areas clearly the thoracic and how when the chest expands the thoracic region expands it brings the diaphragm a little down which pushes the abdomen out can we focus on both the movements very clearly both are coming out when we breathe in and both are going back inside when we breathe out especially when we say chest the chest will expand from all the sides during inhalation and the chest will also collapse from all the sides during exhalation. So friendly breathing. You know friends why it is called as friendly breathing? If the breath is moved in this fashion properly, it allows synchronization happen to all the various systems of the body. We say that we are made up of different systems. It can be digestive, circulatory, respiratory, nervous system, endocrine system and so on. So when we breathe rightly, there is a fine tuning, fine coordination between various systems. Also, if we see, if we can connect with the breath rightly, the ability to keep both the body and the mind in a balanced state can also happen. So this friendly breathing has a greater benefit and also with friendly breathing we can go towards pranayam practice also so the base is friendly breathing if we can do this well we can slowly slowly enter into pranayam practices easily so let's do this friendly breathing if you want you can keep one palm on the chest other on the abdomen if you know the movement if you can feel the movement from inside then you can keep both the palm on the knees that is also fine so let's watch the movement when you inhale the chest expands and the abdomen comes out. When you exhale, the chest collapses and the abdomen goes back inside. Both are constricting, both are falling, both are contracting. Inhale, chest expands, abdomen comes out. Exhale, chest collapses, abdomen goes in. Especially when you breathe in, let the chest be the starting point. Chest expands, which slowly merges into the abdomen. Abdomen also expands. And during exhalation, both can go inside together or any one can go is fine. Last two breaths. Inhale, feel how the chest expands, bringing the abdomen also out. And exhale, how the abdomen goes in and the chest collapses. For the last time, breathe in, chest expands, abdomen comes out. Breathe out, abdomen goes in and the chest collapses and release. If we can breathe in this fashion for some time, slowly, slowly this starts becoming habit. If you can incorporate this breathing in our day-to-day -day life, maybe when you get time, maybe just about 10 breaths and as you keep on practicing, this can start becoming automatized or automatic. This can then become very easier for us. And if this breathing happens nicely, then moving into pranayama becomes also easy. Friends, breathing is very important. Most of the time we are not aware of it. I want you to become aware of it and also to breathe rightly. 
a right breathing, a right approach to breathing can fix a lot of other things, not only physically, but also mentally and emotionally. And also it can guide us in future towards the spiritual aspect, which is the final goal of yoga also. Thank you friends for watching the video. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you can get updates of new videos also. If you have any feedback, any suggestions, please write to us. Thank you. Namaste.